Hi kids. So in this video, we'll discuss numericals from current electricity class 10. This is from current science physics. Exercise 8C. We have already done 8A and B. You can see the link in the description box. Let us look at number 1 over here. What they are told. An electric bulb of resistance 500 ohm draws current of 0 0.4 ampere from the source. Calculate number A, the power of the bulb and number B, the potential difference at its end. Very easy. Look over here. First thing I will find potential difference because we have I, we have R. We know by Ohm's law V equals to IR. Yes or no? So just substitute the value 0 0.4 multiplied by 500. That's how much? That's 200 volt. That pretty easy. Number A. Power. Power equals to VI. There are a lot of formulas. One of the formula is this to calculate power. VI. Just substitute the value. 200 multiplied by 0 0.4. That's how much? That's 80 watt. That's my power. Very easy. Just simple use of formula. Done. Chalo. We'll do number 2 over here only. There's enough space. Number 2. A current of 2 ampere. First of all, you need to write what is given in the sum. And then try to correlate it with the uh, formulas. You know. A current of 2 ampere is passed through a coil of resistance 75 ohm in 2 minutes. 2 minutes means 120 second. Okay. How much heat energy is produced and how much charge is passed through the resistance? First of all, heat energy. We know H equals to I square RT. Remember this formula? So just substitute the value I square R and T is 120 second okay so that's 4 multiplied by 75 multiplied by 120 so 4 into 75 is 300 so 300 multiplied by 120 that's 0, 0, 0, 3, 6 joule so 3, 6, 0, 0, 0 joule of heat energy done number B how much charge is passed? Number B. What was current? Current was Q by T. Q is the charge. So what is Q? Q is I multiplied by T. Just solve it. I is how much? 2. And this is 120. So that's 240 coulomb. So the charge is 240 coulomb which is passed through the resistance. Simple use of formula. Nothing else. Chalo. We'll do number 3 now. Now look at number 3. What they're told. Calculate the current through a 60 watt lamp rated for 250 volt. Okay, they're asking for the current. If the line voltage falls to 200 volt, how is the power consumed of the lamp affected? First of all, we'll do the first portion. Power equals to VI. So, I equals to P by V that is 60 by 250 that is 0 0.24 ampere done then they have told if the line voltage drops to 200 volt how is the power affected look carefully power equals to V square by R now the question arises why you, we are using this formula. Why not P equals to VI? Because we know R is constant. Yes or no? First of all find R from here. So again P equals to V square by R. So R is V square by P. That is 250 multiplied by 250 by 60. 0, 0 goes away. So R is 6250 by 6 ohm. Any problem? Simple use of formula. Power equals to V square by R. We are calculating R. Done. Substitute over here. So power equals to V square. 200 multiplied by 200. R. R is 6250 by 6. Which means 6 goes up. 
solve it. 0, 0 goes away. 25, 25 times, 25, 8 times. 5, 4 times, 5, 5 times. So, P equals to 8, 4 is a 32. 32 multiplied by 6, 192. So, 192 by 5. 5, 3 is a 15. 5, 8 is a 40. So, the power drops. And becomes 38.4 watt. Simple use of formula. Nothing else. We calculated I with P equals to V I. We calculated R then. P equals to V square by R. Then again in the second case we calculated P using the formula V square by R. Now look at number 4. O is an electric bulb is rated power equals to 100 watt. 250 volt how much current will be will the bulb draw if it is connected to 250 volt supply potential difference 250 volt very easy power equals to vi they have asked for the current isn't it how much current yeah so i will be what p by v that is 100 by 250 done 5 2 times 5 5 times 0 0.4 ampere that's your answer Yes, that's my answer. Now let us look at number 5. Now look at number 5. Very easy. An electric bulb is rated 220 volt and 100 watt. What is its resistance? What safe current can be passed through it? First of all, they have asked for resistance and safe current. Now, we have the concept power equals to v square by r use this formula so r equals to v square by p substitute the value 220 multiplied by 220 by 100 0, 0, 0, 0 goes away so resistance is 484 ohm very easy just use this knowledge number 2 power equals to vi so i is p by v so p is how much 100 and V is 220. Solve it 5 times 11 times. So I equals to 5 by 11 ampere. Yeah, they have changed it to decimal that is 0 0.45 ampere. 0 0.45 ampere. Done. Shall we look at number 6 over here only? Look carefully. Number 6, what they have done? done. A bulb of power 40 watt, so power is 40 watt, is used for 12.5 hours every day for 30 days. So time in R, 12.5 into 30, that's the total time. Yes or no? In hour, of course. Then what they are told? Calculate the electrical energy consumed. Now, energy in what hour? Power into time. Yes or no? Power is in what? Time is in hour. Simply multiply those two. 40 into 12.5 into 30. The point goes at 10 comes. 12.5 into 4. That's 500. 500 multiplied by 30. So 15000 watt hour, which is if I want to calculate in kilowatt hour, I'll divide by 1000. So 15 kilowatt hour, that is the energy consumed. Done. Pretty easy. Yes or no? Sure. We we'll look at number 7 now. We'll look at number 7. An electric press is rated 750 watt to 30 volt okay calculate the electrical energy consumed by the press in 16 hours very easy just now we did energy consumed energy consumed in watt hour power into time that is 750 into 16 watt hour so energy in kilowatt hour 
विल बी सेवन फिफ्टी इन टू सिक्सटीन फाइव थाउजेंड यस अनो फ्रॉम वॉट आवर टू फिलो वॉट आर हाउ डू यू गो यू डिवाइड बाई थाउजेंड सो टू फिफ्टी थ्री टाइम्स टू फिफ्टी फोर टाइम्स फोर फोर जार दस ट्वेल्व किलो वॉट आर दस माई आंसर एवरी सी या दस आंसर नाउ लेट एस टू नंबर एट We'll do it over here only. There's enough space over here. Let us see what they're told in number eight. An electric appliance have a resistance of two hundred ohm. Is operated at two hundred volt also. Okay. Calculate the energy consumed by the appliance in five minutes in joule and in kilowatt hour. Now, look over here. This first of all we'll convert to second. Okay. Now, energy in joule. First of all, there are a lot of formula. We have this formula V square T by R because we have V, we have R, we have T. We'll use this formula. Yes or no? I square R T is also there. Okay. Now. V is what two hundred into two hundred, T is three hundred, R is two hundred. So that's two three or six one two three four joule. So it's sixty thousand joule. Yeah, that's the answer. Now in kilowatt hour. So how do you convert joule to kilowatt hour? Energy in kilowatt hour. You simply divide. Joule with three point six multiplied by ten to the power six, isn't it? Because one kilowatt hour, one kilowatt hour is three point six multiplied by ten to the power six joule. So you solve it. This four zeros over here, four zeros goes away. Hundred comes. So that's six by three six zero. Yes or no? That's one by Sixty kilowatt hour. I think they have solved it in decimal zero point zero one six seven kilowatt hour. When you solve this, you'll get this answer only. Yes or no? Sure. This was easy. V square T by R will use converted to joule, and then to kilowatt hour will divide by three point six into ten to the power six. We should know this relation. Sure. We'll do number nine now. Now look at number nine. What they are told: a bulb rated twelve volt and power twenty four watt operates at a twelve volt battery for twenty minutes. Okay. The current flowing through it, they ask, and the energy consumed. Very easy. Look over here. Power equals to V I. I equals to P by V. That's twenty four by twelve. That's two ampere. Done. Very easy. Energy equals to V I T. We have this formula. Yes or no? Which is in fact P into T if you look carefully. So just substitute the value. V is what? Twelve. I is what? I is two. T in second in SI unit. So this is twenty into sixty. That is how much? We'll multiply it. We're getting as two eight eight. We'll get this only. Just multiply. You'll get this answer two eight eight zero zero joule. Simple calculation. Energy equals to V I T and power equals to V I. These two concept only we'll use over here. Done. Very easy. Look at the information which is given to us. Number ten. A current of Zero point two ampere flows through a wire whose end are at the potential difference PD fifteen volt. Calculate the resistance and the heat energy produced in one minute. Again, one minute means sixty second. Over here also we converted. Remember twenty into sixty second. Yes or no? Now look carefully. First of all, we'll find resistance. V equals to I R. So R is V by I. V is how much? 
15 i is 0 0.2 so the point goes 10 comes over here to one time to five times 75 ohm that's my resistance simple v equals to ir concept yes or no then the heat energy produced in one minute now heat energy we have v we have i we have r we can use any formula suppose we are using this formula e equals to v i into t done v i t using the same formula point goes 10 comes down 0 0 6 2 is a 12 isn't it 12 into 15 that's 1 8 0 joule this much of energy is consumed in yeah one minute done simple user formula there are a few formulas which you need to remember in this chapter so in this video we'll keep it till here in the next video we'll do the rest of the sum till then take care and be safe and if you like the video do subscribe and share with your friends